I was going to work and luckily I would just park the car, put it in the garage, coming across the street to go into the office building and I kept dropping my lunch and I couldn't figure out what was going on. But there were about three or four other girls that were with me that um, knew there was something wrong. They had me sit down and asked me if I was okay and I said no, something's not right. So they called the ambulance and then had the ambulance there in about 15 minutes. And they're the ones that assessed me. At first they thought I was having heart problems. And then they, when they took me in, they diagnosed me with stroke. And then when the bed at Hook Rehab opened up, that's when they brought me to here, to community. Between the PT, which is physical therapy, and the OT, which is occupational therapy, um, every day for a month, I, I was moving muscles that I didn't even know I had. <laughs> they were very great people to be with. We have our support meeting every third Tuesday of the month, and I'm there because that's what, what helps me out is the support and helping other people with their support. I love the people here. They're so nice. I mean, it's just, it's like home. When you get here, you feel like, okay, all the things that you've had on your back, you can kind of leave at the door and come in and just, okay, I can breathe now. <laughs> well, when I was here, I had a um, peer visitor. Um, he's no longer with um, being able to come in because he works now. He had had a stroke and he came in and talked to me a couple of times and we got to be friends and he was like, well, I think you, this would be something that you would like. And you no know, one known, <laughs> here I am. I love being with the patients and talking to them and telling them that there is something beside a stroke. And as long as you want to get up and walk and get out of there, there is something out there for you to do. Well, nobody ever goes back to what they were. You just get, you come up to as high as you can get as now and keep going one day at a time. One day at a time you find something more that you can do and that you didn't think you could do. And you're like, okay, you have to try different things. And with me being part of Hooks Athletics, whenever they come up with something different, I've tried it. And I knew that before the stroke, I probably would never think about it. Um, I've been water skiing, would never thought I'd ever be on water <laughs> in a water ski, but they have adaptive equ equipment for you to water ski. Um, I've been through mazes, corn mazes that I didn't think I would be going through. Just different things that we get together and do, bocce ball. Um, they try to have something for, for us to do once a month. Well, a lot of people ask me, how do you do it? Well, you get up each day and you do something different. Um, don't say never. Take that out of your vocabulary. Just say someday. You take one, time, one day at a time. I tell everybody we're like the tortoise and the hare, but we're the tortoise. We always end up winning in one way or another before the hair <laughs> and just just take one day at a time positive mental attitude if you have that then you can go and conquer about anything 